Welcome back to Sky Factory 3 single player. Um, when you see this video, you probably may have seen one before it, or even two, showing multiplayer playthrough. I started playing a multiplayer map on a server with one of my friends, Pam Duncan. She's very interested in Minecraft. And there's my phone, improper timing. Thank you, phone. Um, so we're trying to get together and maybe start over again with a deep, deep tutorial level mission for people who have never played Minecraft before and those that may have just to kind of get started now um, it's gonna go a little bit slow at first until she gets her feet wet if you're interested in seeing more single player I can continue this series up if you want me to focus more on multiplayer I can also do that as well I don't really know what it is you're looking for so if you want to see more of this, me derping around, figuring things out, I will definitely, it will definitely make it easier for me to do the multiplayer stuff. But until then, let's go ahead and get started. I'm not sure how much further I've gotten in this series since the last time you've seen any videos. I had to do some grinding offline, and I made some more seeds. Uh, let's see what kind of seeds I've made. I made some pumpkins. I needed that to make an ore miner, as well as cactus. So I, built, I mailed, manufactured those, kind of babysat those till they grew. They grow pretty fast. I'm also getting stone essence and nature essence as well now. Um, that's about really it here. I think that's all I've done. Ignore this block right here because that's what I'm trying to build. A void research resource miner. Never made one before. Um, and I realized quickly that I was doing the wrong thing. Let me show you what it takes. It takes an assembler. I have one ready to go. An assembler is actually kind of easy to make at this level, but it was confusing to me because you can use different stones. You can use alabaster, basalt, or hardened stone. I chose the hardened stone. With the hardened stone, you need to make a structure block first, but once you make the structure block, you then get the different tier levels you need to make the item for the assembler. The assembler requires a tier two. So with that in mind, the tier one structure block requires these items as well as a hardened stone. What is hardened stone? It takes nine cobblestone to make this. Five of those are regular stone, four of those are cobblestone. And that's how you make the assembler. Of course, you can use the other ones as well, but I chose the cobblestone variant. With that done, we need to make the ore miner. There's two types. Um, the one I chose was the... That was not the one I chose, did it? No, no, no. So it's not called ore, it's called resource. Is this the one I chose? Yes, I chose the void resource miner controller. So I built that. It requires block of gold, end stone, clear lens, which is glass around a lens, and a lens that shows more glass. It requires a laser core, which is not as crazy as it sounds, it's just iron, redstone, and glass. You put it all together with the nether rack and the mossy stone. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you. Mossy stone. It requires four stone essences and one nature essence. That's why I built those. Seems easy enough, right? Well, the stone essence requires everything we have. Stone, crafting seeds, inferium, no big deal. However, the nature essence required this monstrosity. It needs a nature cluster. A nature cluster is combined of wheat, sugarcane, pumpkin, and cactus. And we have plenty of these. We had none of those. So we had to, you know, grind down some, sift down some dirt to get the appropriate seeds for the cactus. And I already had pumpkins, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, but you can just sort your sifter to find out what you need to get these seeds, and you should be good to go. So I made, again, I made the moss stone. This one, I only really need one nature essence to make it and four stone essences. I had that in like five minutes once I planted the seeds. I probably had it in two or less, but um, yeah, it's simple to make. If you happen to have vines, you can do it with the vines. I didn't have any vines as well either. And the vines are made with the nature essence as well. I'm not sure if they come in a kit. Um, I don't think they do. If you have botan bot 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 botany, <laughs> botania, you can also do it with the lily pad, which I didn't have a lily pad either, so it was kind of like, I guess you get it from sifting a, su a sponge. I didn't have a sponge, so I went the easy method in just building it. Once I had all the items, 
I built it, right? Yeah, I built it and I placed it and I couldn't interact because I didn't have an assembly, a sibler. Well, now I do. And I found something else out at the exact same time. Watch this, left click, it tells you. I need 24 structure blocks, tier one or above, 20 machine bases, two laser cores, and one clear lens or any colored variant to build this bad boy. So, looks like we have some building to do. I'm go ahead and start making the 24 structure blocks, tier one or above. Let's do that. Let's see if I have a pattern for that first. I don't know if I do. Let's see, only craftable structure block. I don't. Let's see what it would take to make it. Tier one structure block. We're gonna use the stone, hardened stone. Requires that. All right, we don't have any of that. So let's make some patterns maybe. I don't think I made a pattern for this. Let me see. This is called hardened stone. Nope, don't have a pattern for that. Let's make one. Kind of getting good at this, aren't we? Hardened stone. There we go. We put that in there. We drop the pattern. And let's go put it in our handy dandy pattern machine combination monstrosity over here. All right, let's see if that works. I might need to make one for stone as well. I didn't check. We have 50 already, because I guess I made those. Let's see if we can craft any more. Why not make a whole bunch? We're missing the stone. No big deal. All right, let's go ahead and make some stone. Stone will have to go in our processing pattern encoder because of what it takes to make it. So let's go to stone, grab this, we're gonna be doing smelting, so just that. We got a pattern, great. This has to go into our alloy or our furnace to do it. What else do we have in here? So no conflicts, no big deal. Okay, so now we have the stone. We can make it hardened stone now, easily enough. The next thing we need to make would be the structure block. Tier one, okay. Requires hard and stone, which we have, requires that, and there we go. We'll make that pattern. Cool. We'll put it in our machine over here. That's the first step. All right, so how many of those did we need? I believe it said 24. Oh, we are sliding around here. 24 structure blocks, tier one or below, above. Easy enough. Let's do that. So structure blocks. There we go. We have two already. We want 24, so we need 22 more, right? Yes, 22 more. Then 22 start, everything's available. That process is beginning. Okay. What else do we need? Oh, I did not mean to place that. How did I? Oh, because I clicked it and I had it in my inventory. That's fine. All right, now what else do we need? We need 20 machine bases. Let's see what those are. I think I know, but let's double check. We can actually craft, oh, machine frames. We don't have machine base. What's a machine base? Hardened stone machine base. I guess that's the one we want. This doesn't look too hard, but we're not making iron bars, are we? Okay, I don't think so. Let's check. Oh, we are, so we're good, okay. So let's just make the machine base. And then we're gonna use the one for hardened stone. We'll create that there. Oh, we're not automatically built in it. Let's go ahead and do it, make a pattern of it, just in case we need more in the future. Pattern, all right. Let's drop that over here. Page one's almost full, go figure. And how many of those do we need? We need 20, right? We need 20 machine bases, easy enough. Let's go ahead and grab what we made. Um, machine base, 
Hardened stone machine base. There we go. We need 20. Get that going. All right. And the other thing we made, what was it we needed? Let's check our, let's get rid of this. This should be 22. So where's the 22 at? Right here. All right. We'll grab these out. All right. Now we have that. Let's go ahead and start building this as we have it. All you do is just right click on it and hold down the right mouse button and it starts building it. Oh, I hope I don't I hope I have enough room. I don't think I do. I think there is this wall's blocking it and that cable's blocking it. We're gonna need to go out further with this guy. Yep, alright, let's dig her up. Should have known. Ah, uh, progress. I hope I saw the angel block on me. If I don't, I want to go grab it. I think I do, though. My first time building one of these structures, and I didn't really read much about it. I'm not even sure how it gets power, to be honest with you. Ah, whoa, fly, boo, fly. All right, angel block. Do I have one on me? I sure do. Now let's go maybe out. I want to be close to the base for this, but it needs a, a line of sight to the ground for it to work. So perhaps we just put it right there. And that'll work. Yeah. All right, let's put this back here. Place her down. Get rid of the angel block. And now let's try crafting it. So far, so good. Looks like it built everything it needed for that portion. Okay. Let's grab the rest of the materials we needed. And there'd be like 20 of those, I believe. So let's look for 20. There it is. I still don't know how to power this thing, but whoa. All right. Getting this built up. There we go. Everything should... Whoa. Why did that happen? Let's put this back down. I'm not sure if that goes there or not. I think it went on top. It goes on top. Okay. Let's break that. Break that. Put a stone there. We're just messing this all up today, aren't we? Put that there. Get rid of the stone. What's in inventory? We have um, one more hardened stone left. There we go. Back to normal. Well, hopefully it's gonna... Huh. Might be missing everything. Let's try the rest of it, and if not, we can tear it down again and do it again. So structure block tier one or above. Structure block tier one, good. Machine base. Okay. So two more laser cores and one clear, okay. So two laser cores, ah, God, what kind was it? Was it a special brand? Laser core. And clear laser lens. Okay, laser core and clear laser lens. We can do that. Whoa, stop it. Laser core. One of those again. Easy to make. And clear laser lens. Or clear lens. This right here. Okay. Let's grab that. Grab that. Let's see, this is all we need. I don't know. It says it's still missing the blocks required. All right, we're gonna dig it all up and do it again. Why not? Can I ore mine this? Yes, ha 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 ha. That makes it easier. Do 
24, 20, looks good. Let's grab this item and the one above it. This is slow. All right, hopefully it doesn't destroy it to make another one. We'll see. At least my obsidian pickaxe will outlast it. This was a clear lens. Okay. Did we get it back? We did. All right, let's try this again with everything in inventory at one time. Maybe that matters. I don't know. It's building. All right, did it finish? It built it. Is there an interface to it? Does it need power now? I'm sure it does of some type. Let's check the book, see what it tells us about the void or miner. Multi-block, mines, blah, blah, blah. That's really all it says about it. There's 24 structure blocks tier one or above. Does need energy. Hmm. That's the void resource miner. And this here is the void R miner. And we built the void ore miner, correct? We built the void, void resource miner. Let's check the differences out. The void ore miner is the one I can't do. The void resource miner is the one I can do. Now let's try and give it some power. I think I have a flux point to receive energy. Put that right here on top, maybe. Let's tell the network. There we go. Well, hardened stone machine base. I mean, it built it, so it must be able to use it. Structure block tier one or above. Structure block tier one or above. Machine base. Laser core. And clear laser lens. Well, Laser core, everything's here. Hmm. It's got power. It can see the bottom. What else am I missing? has no inventory that I can go into. Huh. Do I need pipe? Conduit? Let me see if it's grabbing anything. I just can't see it. Extract always active. <laughs> don't know what to do. Let's put this chest here and see if this does anything. Gonna insert 
Anything new? Well, I don't know how to make one of these, clearly. It seems like it'd be so simple. Let's check one more time. Structure block tier one. All right. Structure block. You'd think it was the wrong block, it wouldn't have chose it. It doesn't say what type of structure block. It just says structure block. And I chose hardened stone. All right, it says machine base. Let's look up machine base. Assault, alabaster. Uh, it should not be this machine base, I wouldn't think. This is RF tools. I would assume it would mean this one, hardened stone machine base, to go with the rest of the mod pack. And I can't seem to activate it. Let me double check my outputs here. You extract without signal, and you are insert, and you are empty. All right, well. We're going to take a break for the, you know, it's always fun around here, but you know what? Multiplayer, <laughs> we'll have figured it out in two seconds flat. It's like refined stores. All right, guys, I'm going to end this. I'm going to do some research and get back to another vid. In the comments below, don't blame me too hard for not knowing this one. Um, but let me know if, how you feel about multiplayer or single player. If you want me to keep on doing the derpity derp derp, or if you want me to um, show my magical abilities and my super awesome Minecraft skills in multiplayer, let me know below because it really does matter on your input which, which series I'm going to focus more on. Uh, thanks for watching us again, guys, and we will catch you next time. Take care.